Yes, it's the worldwide premiere of Lego Moves with the help of MagnaRail. Been a long time in the thought process and I've always been wondering, well, Lego, we've got trains, we've got other things that move, wind up, what have you. I've got adult children now um, and uh, I happened to go over their, their Lego the other day and I thought, oh, I really must try this out. And so I thought, no, now's the time. Get the old Lego out. And as some people referred to it recently, it looks like you've got vintage Lego there, Clive. Well, it is nearly uh, 38, 39 years old, um, but it's, uh, it's Lego. So the standard still applies. So what I thought I'd just do a proof of concept just to see whether it all can be done or not. So I cut out my ever faithful bit of foam uh, from Bunnings and got the, the measurements of six of the base plates for that. Did my curves. Um, this time I tried something different. I thought I'd just router it out to take the whole track, whereas usually I just trim everything off and just have the actual channeling. Uh, but this time I thought I'd include the screw down areas um, just to see how it, how it all worked. But, and yes, I should have uh, clamped it down to the top there, but I was in no danger of anything moving. It's very, very light uh, and mobile. You will notice I've got my rubber gloves on or my latex gloves because remember that fine grain of the foam gets into everything. All right, so we have, and this is a, an ordinary starter kit, just to remind you just how much you get in a starter kit. This is without the turning loops. So there's 197 centimeters or six foot six. we can actually put together um, from the starter kits which is very interesting so it was a case of getting it all together and I've used my, my little Dremel there to cut out and once again I emphasize that I'm not someone who does the job the perfect way I get it to do the job finish and it won't look pretty but it'll work so you master craftsmen, um, you can shrug your head, wring your hands, whatever. So here we have getting the motor ready. Um, and I actually put two motors on this layer because I wanted to be able to stack more units on it. So there will be two layouts within the circuit, as you can see there. And because they're wired parallel, and I didn't want to have anything coming up underneath the surface. I use my little hot magic wand here, which I got from China for, I don't know, five or six dollars, I think it was, and then got one of my 12 volt battery packs and converted it uh, to take the power. So it's a simple case of putting the motors in. And I will say, I put the slow motors in uh, from the, the boat starter set in the beginning but I found once it was running, and you'll see some of the examples later, that it is terribly slow. It's meant for, for barges going through the water, uh, not speeding, little fishing boats tacking along. So I created uh, the system to start with, with the slow motors. I did upgrade it uh, to the medium motors uh, with the... Um, are basically the bike set and that was adequate so it was screwing everything down adding a bit of glue doing the acetate over the drive unit which a lot of people forget to do but you really must do it that's why there's there's little flathead screws there uh, that go into the assembly and that holds it into place the chain as it goes through the uh, o-rings because Without it, it's trying to force its way up all the time. So quick test. Yep, something jumped up there. 
uh, and it was a case of just making sure everything was neat and fine-tuned. Always do this. Make sure that you know you test it time and time again before you put the basically put the lid on it. Feel if there's any rough areas uh, that are popping up, which means that they haven't clicked in properly. Um, sometimes, if it's too tight, you'll need to add a, a smaller link and, and just do a bit of chopping and changing. But anyhow, uh, here we go. So we're linking it all together. Uh, you'll notice in the background there a uh, little transformer controller. Uh, it's something that we're trialling at the moment with Magna Rail. Um, they've only got the European fittings on it, but we're getting uh, the original equipment manufacturer uh, to do an American plug, uh, and we'll advise you as soon as that arrives. I just use the European one for in Australia. It's 220, 240 volts. And uh, I just used a, a, a travel converter plug. Um, I didn't cut it off and put a, an Australian plug on it. Because our market is so small compared to Europe and America, uh, it's not worth getting an Australian plug made at this point in time. So that's something to look forward to. Much easier just to plug it in and away you go. Quite happy with that. So here we go. This is the first two little cars that we got going. And as you notice, they crawl around. So I thought that was a bit too slow, uh, even as a demonstration unit. But as a proof of concept, it worked uh, and it worked well. So I was very happy with that. Part of the proof of concept is, yes, they work, but uh, you notice at the very front, uh, the magnets on the ground there, uh, with um, some of my, my black velvet or uh, velour that I use to reduce friction. But then on the larger ones, we're able to just put magnets onto straight onto the Lego piece. And you'll find that the female hole on a um, piece of Lego is about two mil uh, the inside circumference and of course uh, I've got magnets that I've tried and worked with that actually fit into that. You'll also notice me using the magnet finder, the little white uh, tool here to see where the magnets are underneath the board. Something like this, yeah, you really do need it and then you can just locate the particular magnet and away you go. So you'll see later on things like the shark and the crocodile, uh, no problems at all. So what I'm doing, I'm sourcing the, the correct magnets and uh, hopefully I'll have a little kit uh, if you want to adapt it. So there's with the medium motor, obviously it's going a lot faster and uh, more efficiently. The reason I did the concept uh, to get it going was I had the largest uh, model exhibition in Australia to go to uh, on the following weekend. So I was working flat out to try and get this moving because there's a lot of Lego uh, displayed at the show. And one of them, oh, it's enormous, but I'll be doing a movie on the uh, show after this one and you'll just see how big the show was. But yeah, the policeman uh, was using a slider, uh, which is the standard slider for, for um, Magna Rail, for Spaceship. I use those uh, half round button ones and they have a magnet dropped into them uh, and they work perfectly as well. Uh, you'll see later on uh, a boat got the boat going, the uh, truck, uh, larger car, four-wheel drive, call it what you like, uh, also operated with the trailer on. So I was very pleased and uh, as someone said, yeah, your, your antique Lego looked really good and for those aficionado, aficionado whatever the word is, um, have uh, been able to see 
their old Lego and modern Lego come alive. And uh, I really think this is going to set the world on fire. I really do. Uh, those of you that, that love Lego will finally be able to, to do your models, uh, be it space, even water, as long as you've got the surface. Uh, you could have all your Lego going uh, on a layout. So the creativity will be coming and the Magna Rail magic will be coming to your Lego layout very soon. Of course, the only difference is you can't just whack it onto a flat surface because the Magna Rail motors have to be hung underneath uh, the board. Uh, you will need to build up uh, a level uh, as I had shown with the uh, cutting up of my foam, made a, a, a flat si system and then just put an edge on it just to get it up off the off the table but if you use the foam it's all very light now this because it was a demonstration I just screwed the the base plates onto the board uh, you'll notice the screw while I've tried to hide them behind some of the the plants and bushes uh, which is why they're there but uh, yeah I would say you'd be able to uh, stick that on with just a well, any commercial system that will do plastic to foam, any gluing system. So that's something to, to think about. Um, if you want to keep it fairly flexible, uh, you can do you know, just join it with blocks. But I, I believe that because of the, the magnets again, pulling is purely physics again, the magnets will need to be uh, firmly in place and the baseboard really does need to be uh, clamped down so it doesn't lift off uh, when the magnets are, are going by a join. Um, so there will have to be some securing somewhere in the system. You notice sometimes the, the uh, vehicles go a bit fast and that's just because I fast forwarded the, um, the movie so I don't think that they're all going to go at that pace. This is quite interesting. See the crocodiles going along and I've got no idea what happened. But all of a sudden, around it goes and it's going to start attacking the driver, except it's going in reverse. So how that happened, you tell me. I've got no idea. Uh, but it looked good uh, with it coming and snapping at the driver. So you can just see underneath the little half buttons there. Uh, these were, were very easy because it was just a matter of dropping the magnets into the, um, the, the holes. And because they were, they were fairly loose, they weren't the hard, the two mil ones, they were my smaller ones. They just flipped to the right polarity. So I didn't have to worry about getting the polarity right with those they just they just clicked up the right way this is the logo for the train and hobby show I couldn't find a high JPEG very frustrating but anyhow so you can see how it all works uh, that's my son Kent came along and helped me for two days it was a three-day show uh, and then my wife Lois also helped out a bit of animation with the, the croc chasing the speedboat um, and that caused quite a a flurry with the kids uh, they are very happy to see that we also got the shark going uh, they wanted to know why the shark wasn't chasing the, the crocodile well no. it's a case of however you want to set it up and to me it, it just it was really great it, it just sort of a proved the concept that Magna Rail can move Lego but also Lego on the move just adds another dimension uh, to the toys that we've had for years and years now and uh, I think it's something that will take off. The Lego people will love it, uh, the Magna Rail people will love it because we'll sell more Magna Rail but I think uh, it's something to look forward to.